What's up, you guys? All right, guys. How's it going? Crypto Mike here with the mic check. One, two, one, two. All right, you guys. Please take a moment to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe, notification bell, crypto mic. Let's go. Let me tell you what this video is going to be about. Mostly exclusively a XRP Ripple video, although I there is a little bit of news about Bitcoin and um, just other stuff I'd like to talk about real quick. Um, first of all, real quick, um, this is for Nita Shah, who won the 100 XLM Stellar Lumen uh, in my crypto giveaway. Um, I'm still trying to get that to you. Now, I, I'm able to get it to Binance. I can't take it off Binance into the address you gave me. So there's a, pro a possibility that uh, maybe the address is just doesn't work. Uh, so if you can, try to give me like a, the Binance address for Stellar or, or an exchange address or some, some other address besides the wallet you were using. And, uh, and then I'll pr hopefully be able to get that to you. Um, I'm a man of my word. I, I'm not trying to jip anyone, and I, and I I would feel a lot more comfortable if I was able to get you that hundred XLM that you won. All right, guys. So today's video is going to be a, we're going to go over the XRP USD chart real quick, the BTC USD chart real quick. Okay. Um, there's a little article on Reddit um, about the last time Bitcoin hit eight thousand in 2017. It reached eighteen thousand within twenty days, and it's not out of the realm of possibility, guys. Um, something like this can easily happen again, especially now that there's there's just more speculation on Bitcoin and there's more there's more eyes on it, and uh, there's just the crypto space has grown in infrastructure um, by a hundredfold. Okay, since the last bull market, you guys, this is so exciting. This time that we're in right now, this we are such. An amazing generation guys okay this this generation of human uh, species is just amazing and the advances we're we're making are insanely mind-blowing all right we're also gonna go with uh, there's an article and ripple regularly talks with Trump administration that's huge huge all right crypto maniacs 101's ripple conspiracy views blue Zell and ripple Okay, that came out. They 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 launched their um, data services uh, on May twentieth. All right, Amazon coloring book release date now June twenty eighth. They pushed it back to June twenty eighth. Now I'm gonna tell you in the Ripple chart why I think that might be significant and why June twenty eighth might be a very significant date for Ripple XRP. I cannot tell you for sure or for certain. Okay, because it's just an idea, just an opinion. All right. Remember, everything that is on my channel, every video I put out is all based on opinion. Okay. I can't tell you facts on what might happen and what might happen with the price. Because first of all, I'm not a financial advisor. And second of all, I don't know. No one knows. Okay. And anyone who does know, they're keeping their lips sealed tightly. All right. Now, I think that's why we see all this bearable guy stuff, the, the coloring book stuff, because while they do have to keep their lips sealed, they're able to get around it. There are loopholes with the non-disclosure agreements where they can create a, a crazy looking cartoon bear with crazy jester hat and a little mask and put up puzzles. And then anyone who follows them is considered crazy. Right. That's the perfect cover. The perfect cover. All right, guys. So also, last but not least, Crypto Twitter's theories on the new bearable guy, one, two, three, background. All right, you guys. Since he did change his background, a lot of developments have happened in the last few days. Um, another reason I think the, the coloring book is related to him out of many reasons, guys. All right. Let's hurry up. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. All right. So XRP USD. Um, just first of all, let's, let's take care of these. Uh, let's, let's get rid of these lines for a second. Okay. Now that looks pretty promising right there, but I'll tell you what, when you put the lines up, all right, it, it poked out of this big triangle that it was in. Okay. 
it poked out. It couldn't make it, couldn't make it out right away. Um, but we did poke out of it finally after a long time of being in it. All right. Now what's happening is this is a bull pennant. This is a bull pennant right here. Okay. It's a bull flag, bull pennant. Okay. Um, the pennant is the it's a symmetric triangle shape. We're forming one. Now there's two possibilities, guys. We're either going to just jam out of here. We're going to jam out and blow up. Jam out, come retest the outside of this triangle. And then shoot up. Or when I was talking about the June 28th date. The June 28th date actually comes to about the end of this humongous triangle that we've been in. Now we're in this triangle here. Okay. It would be interesting if we all came all the way down. All the way to June 28th. And then saw our, our big rise, guys. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be very interesting. Um, not saying it's going to happen, but I, look, I mean, doesn't it kind of look like that would happen? And then it would come and retest. And then, woo! Woo! Oh, what does that look like? <laughs> All right, anyways, um, now BTC. Bitcoin is, is straddling that 8,000, like where are we at? We're, that 8,000, we're just really trying to break that 8,000. But the great thing, oh, is it? The great thing about this, uh, like I said the other day, it's not going any lower. We're seeing higher lows, okay? We're not seeing higher highs, but that's fine because we're creating an ascending triangle pattern. And when you're going up and you see an ascending triangle pattern, that's a good little time of accumulation before the next leg up, okay? That's what happens. Put it on the year chart so I can back out and show you what I think is gonna happen here. Um, what I think is gonna happen relatively soon is this. Okay, and then from 10,000, now that's a that's a psychological resistance right there. That's a huge psychological resistance, and a very even, well-rounded number. 10,000, I think we're going to see a decent dip from 10,000. Um, I think that's where we might see our dip back down to six, and then maybe we'll stay within that channel for a month or two. Okay, as far as Bitcoin goes, I would like to see us not really go parabolic yet. Reason being is that it would not be sustainable if we went parabolic. We've already been in a bull run. We've already been up for like three months already. Like no downwards since since right here, February, the beginning of February. So that's three months, a little more than three months we've been going up and we have not seen much down. All right. So what that means is that you know what that means. All right. Let's let's go on. Um, Reddit. I thought this was an interesting article. Um, now, despite what I said, despite what I said about us, I, I would like to see us down. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. We would like to see it go up to eighteen thousand too. But I mean, all I'm saying is. This is possible, okay? When BTC reached 8,000 in 2017, it reached 18,000 within 20 days. Now, down here in the comments, there are a couple really good comments, okay? Now, he clarifies a little bit. Um, mod of R Ripple, the Coyote. Um, he says that that 8K per Bitcoin represented a different point of the bear bull market cycle. When we passed 8K in 2017, we were in the late stages of the bull market with the price going exponentially. Okay, we're in the late stages. Right now, we're in the early stages. That's even better. In reality, the bull market had been going on since mid-2015. But when that growth passed the previous all-time high at around... 1100 that growth went into overdrive okay now this is very important listen to what he says right here if you're looking at the price of bitcoin as compared to a previous all-time high to figure out where we're at in the cycle 
were somewhere around $459 or late 2015. Okay, he's comparing us to the last bull market. We This was at the beginning of the last bull market. Okay, so basically, I think what he's saying is that we're going, uh, we're going to go to 100,000. That's basically what he's saying here. And it, it makes sense. Look at all the sudden interest we've seen. Look at all the sudden interest we've seen. Okay, as soon as people found out it was going to go above 6,000, well, right here, this is, we started talking. Was this the bottom? People did not believe it was the bottom. And we just kept going up and going up. Right here, we, we finally broke out of this pattern because this was an ascending triangle pattern. Even though we were coming out of a downwards trend, it still broke out like a textbook. It still broke out of the ascending triangle pattern it was in. And I kind of called that. I did. I mean, I didn't kind of. I told you guys. I, I called that in one of my earlier videos a few months back um and i called it happening exactly the way it happened and it and but now i did not expect it to pass six thousand. and when that happened people fomo in now we're consolidating again we're gonna see more fomo we're gonna see it up to ten thousand. i can almost guarantee that okay look at strong buy right now strong buy all right now getting past ten thousand is gonna be difficult, I think. There's a lot of consult. There's a lot of resistance right there. But then again, we had a lot of resistance right here too. So what I'm what I'm saying is that it is a possibility going straight up to to this to the all time high. Now we're gonna definitely bounce back down once we hit the all time high. But you know what? The possibility is there. We could just shoot up again, just like we did through that 6,000 resistance. There might be FOMO, and then we bounce down. And it, we would probably bounce back down to like 10,000. or ten. Yeah, right here. Probably bounce back down. Probably bounce like that, then that. All right. So these are just possibilities. Um, now, he, he explained his answer and i liked it a lot this guy's this guy liked it too this is a very underrated comment and should be posted on the hundreds of posts i see like this every day all right um now this guy it's like are you serious why is there so much hope for this sudden growth this is the one thing i don't get about bitcoin where do these wild swings come from well, i'll tell you right now people are starting to wake up they're starting to see things are not going the way Things are not going to go as well as they have been the last 10 years as far as uh, the economy, okay, the, 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 uh, the U.S. dollar. People are starting to wake up. People are starting to see the technical technological revolution take place right before our eyes. This is a brand new asset class. It's only been around for 10 years. People are starting to see that they can actually hold this as a store of value. They can hold Bitcoin. They can hold their money in Bitcoin, and it's actually going up, not down like the U.S. dollar. It's actually deflationary, not inflationary. People are starting to wake up to this. All right, let's go on. Um, this is an article by Crypto Maniac 101. This is he actually did this a few minutes, um, a week ago or so. Now. I'll, I have another article by him that's more recent, so I'm going to just go over the one little part I saw that I liked. By the way, he explains how Variable Guy puts this coil up, and then we found out, we figured out as a community how he basically, it was it looked just like this Mori Yuzen um, design that he wrote, um, and they the Japanese used to put these on their swords, and they were their furniture, um, and religious objects, rip, wave and ripples beautiful and and like i see people with tattoos of this and you know but anyways he was totally this is totally plans within plans 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 there's tons of plans going on in the background this is the only way he's able to tell us through what being blocked by the non -dis non-disclosure agreements bearable guy was created to let the common people the crazy ones right we're the crazy ones right the common crazy ones know 
that there's a lot going on in the background and it will pay off tremendously to hold Ripple right now. And you guys, we're in such a consolidation pattern. This is the best time to buy, you guys. The best time. The best time. Not financial advice, but it is the best time to buy XRP. Okay? Um, now, I caught, I saw this. White House and judges gavel. Um, and then I, it made me, well, I'll just show you. I, I came across an article that I... I thought was pretty interesting and you guys have heard this already but i you know i just want to go over it again all right ripple news rick will xrp in talks with trump administration okay no release date for cobalt yet ripple is reportedly in talks with the trump administration okay corey johnson said that the organization has had numerous conversations with the administration with the latter being assuaged by the fact that there is no mining associated with xrp Okay, this is it gets more interesting. This is cool. The most interesting segment from the interview came as a response to what Johnson thought of the Trump administration's understanding of the Ripple product. Johnson said that there was a lot of research going on in the background. And this is a quote, I guess. The White House in particular seems to be thinking about what it means to have 80% of Bitcoin mining taking place in China and a majority of Ether mining taking place in China. And in conversations we've had with the administration, they seem to get that and think that might matter. You know what's really interesting, too? I just thought about it right now, but Trump put up a, a, a tweet, okay? he His tweets actually are very powerful. Um, I remember when he tweeted, it might be a good time to buy the stock market. I remember when he tweeted that, and that was um, right before Christmas last year. And... As soon as he tweeted that, the stock market went up tremendously. People bought it up, and there was a big uptrend, okay, right after the big dip we saw. So you don't think – you think if you still think Trump is an idiot, that's, that's fine. You know, that's your opinion, okay, but he's not. He, he's, he's in – he controls more than you guys think, all right? So anyways – um. I was going to try to pull it up, but so what happens when he makes a tweet about Ripple? What happens when Trump mentions Ripple in a tweet? Um, just recently, he mentioned uh, a company called Workhorse and just a very little mention of it in a tweet. And you know how many tweets he puts out, but the the company, um, the stocks went up 300 percent like overnight just because he put it just because he mentioned them. Now they're already. We already know he, they're talking to, to to the Trump administration. What happens when he tweets about Ripple, guys? This is the best time to accumulate. It looks like people are selling off. It looks like it's manipulated. It looks. It might be manipulated. I don't know. It looks like Ripple or the XRP uh, token is waiting and waiting and waiting and this is it's giving us a chance to accumulate okay this is the best chance all right um we have till like the beginning of july till it's gonna break out of that uh it might break out already might break out before then but we have till the beginning of july till it breaks out of that that triangle okay the june 28th right here Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, he he tweeted out just like a month ago, fifty one percent with the big letters, fifty one percent in a picture, and it said fifty one percent approval rate. Approval. That's all it said. I wonder if I can find it. It's very interesting because it made me think. He's in talks with China. What if they are in planning to crash Bitcoin? So that they can roll roll in um, XRP, would that be amazing or what? Fifty one percent approval tweet. Uh, right here, he tweeted this out. Let me see if I can. I don't know if that's exactly it. He tweeted it out, and I think 
he he tweets cryptically. He he this is it right here. He tweets cryptically, guys. Um, there's a ton of tweets he puts out. He does. He t tweets cryptically, and you're an idiot if you don't know that by now. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, so 51% approval. When he puts something like that out, the first thing in my mind, because I am a conspiracy theorist to the max. I love conspiracies. I love look diving deep. I love it. Okay. First thing in my mind, he's talking with China. China controls, what was it, 80% of the mining pools of Bitcoin? What happens if he's talking about a 51% attack approval has been talked about with China and the plan is set in motion? It's possible. It's, it's possible. Now, what happens when Bitcoin crashes because of that, because of a hack, because of a double spending attack, what happens to all the money that's in Bitcoin? It floods to XRP. Isn't that insane? Is that a crazy theory or what? You never know. All right. 51%. 51%. Oh, our country needs a good shutdown. He's talking, man, this might be all in place, you guys. I'm telling you. 51%. Our country needs a good shutdown. Shutdown in parentheses. I don't know. Like maybe, maybe, the, maybe all, maybe Bitcoin will go to a million bucks and then they will crash it on purpose. And that'll be the, the global financial reset. And then everything will come rushing into XRP, guys. Whoa. All right. Enough of that conspiracy talk. Let's go to more conspiracy talk. All right. So now this is actually fact right here. Um, in the talks with the Trump administration, Johnson revealed that the absence of, absence of mining in the Ripple network has calmed the nerves of administration officials who fear influence and environmental consequences as a result of large-scale mining operations. Influence. You guys, this is this is big. This is really big. That's why I don't own any Bitcoin. I own other coins. All right, so we haven't said who we've talked to, but we're in regular talks throughout Washington, and we meet with regulators as well as politicians. Regulators and politicians. We've got a whole team that's devoted to doing that, not just in the U.S., but worldwide. Okay, this is bigger than just the U.S. Our regulatory team, they jump on planes like their pants are on fire. That's awesome. So he's saying they're flying throughout the world like constantly. All right. Um, he went on to liken Ripple and XRP to Chevron and oil. He emphasized that XRP is a believer and facil facilitator of the XRP token, but does not control it. And that's why it won't be ruled a security. It's the same as oil and Chevron. This is a quote from Corey Johnson. Chevron has vested has a vested interest in oil. You can buy shares in Chevron like crazy, and it doesn't give you any right to the world's oil. You can buy every barrel of oil you find, but that doesn't give you any rights to Chevron. Okay, they're not they're separated. All that applies to Ripple and XRP. Ripple doesn't control XRP. Okay, that's that's a good thing, right? Um, I hope he's telling the truth. <laughs> All right, XRP is decentralized in a way that Ripple can't control it. Even if we wanted to, people say Ripple's centralized because we control XRP validators. Well, we don't. We operate 10 validators. There are 150 known to be out there. So that makes sense. Or, would they, or they say it's centralized because we own a lot of it. We own about 60% of it. All right. I think that's the last of what I highlighted. Oh, formal... Former, okay, now this has to do with, I'm going to put this behind this article, and we're going to read this article. Uh, I guess this is going to be a, let's see, a lengthy uh, video, because there's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, what's going on? This is a Cryptomaniac 101 article that he he put out like two, three days ago. Um, now, he put up, he put this together, this little schematic, um, and I like it, I like it. 
XRP, purple tie. I don't know about the purple tie. Maybe. I don't know. A little bit's a little, this is a little far reaching, but it's good to think about. It's, you know, at the very least, it's entertaining to think about. Um, Trump officials formally meet Ripple, the White House, bearable guy. He's an insider. He's saying something's going on with the White House. The judge's gavel could mean regulations. It could mean maybe some of the bankers are going to jail. Uh, you know, J.P. Morgan's under investigation. Um, maybe some of the big players are going to go to jail and they won't have that control anymore. They already arrested a ton of the Saudi Arabia um, branch of the Illuminati guys. Didn't you know that? They arrested that part of the Saudi Arabia branch already. Okay, now, now it's just the Rothschild and uh, there's another part too. I forgot what, I think it was the central bank. So it's the Rothschild and the central bank um, who control the world, basically. Next, next he's going to um, basically take out the central banks. That's the next step. Pay attention, you guys. Watch the X-22 report. Okay, it tells you a lot. And also it has the, the letter X in it. But no, I'm serious. The X-22 report goes over Q. Q is probably related to this a little bit as well. Um, I wouldn't doubt it in my mind. I would not I have no doubts. There's there's a lot going on behind the scenes. We'll probably do a video about that someday. Um, I'm going to have to dig up a lot of information for that one. <clears throat> All right. So Madonna, she's been in Ripple. Oh, by the way, I'm going to pull up. I want to show you something. Um Okay, Madonna, she made a commercial about her charity to Africa. Um, <clears throat> let's see, Malawi. She made a commercial. Let's see if I can even uh, find it. Nah, it's all right. Okay, so let's just go down. Um, she made a commercial. It's pretty cool. But anyways, they, she's working with Ripple. Okay, this article. Okay, now let's dive into this very interesting and weird line of coincidences we've been seeing evolving Ripple XRP. Now I've um, dived into a lot of this, okay, except for the Madonna stuff. I haven't dived into that yet with in my videos. Okay, May twentieth, where it came from. First, we have May twentieth. We've already went over it extensively, but let's recap. Okay, now this picture in his background for the calendar in the Christmas puzzle, BG123s, it came from an article that was posted May 20th, 2015. And the article was, A burgeoning bull market, three cobalt stocks worthy of investigation. Um, and what you immediately see in this article are a few things. Cobalt, which is what Ripple is developing to facilitate near one second transactions and much more. Expected releases early 2019. Um, maybe not that early because it's already mid 2019. So, and also a Steve Jobs quote. I like this quote too because that's what we're doing. We're connecting the dots. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that all the dots will somehow connect in your future. And I do. We are going to see the, the dots connect, and we're seeing them connect day by day with this barrel guy, with the color, coloring book. Now Madonna. Um, okay, guys. By the way, the coloring book did change to June 28th. I was a little disappointed about that because I was hoping to get them and you know, I was going to give away a few, um, but I'm going to have to wait till then, but I'm going to do a coloring book giveaway for you guys. Um, also, I got the, uh, from Aiden Trading, um, I'm just going to give him a shout out right now. Let's see. I'm going to give him a shout out right now. Aiden Trading. Um, he's giving away, let's see. He's giving away, uh, no, he's not giving away, but he's selling bearable guy dolls. And they're really high quality. Um, 20 bucks each. I just bought two. I'm going to keep one. And I'm going to give one away on my channel. Okay? So if you haven't figured out by now, you guys, I 
here they are right here. Look at the quality of that. That's pretty cool. All right. So if you haven't figured out by now, guys, I am, I love to give, um, I love to give to my viewers. Okay. So I'm going to be doing lots of giveaways. All right. Um, cause you guys give me so much by paying attention to what I have to say. And that it, it, it's very valuable to me. Okay. Your time is valuable to me. And I, I really appreciate that. So I'm going to be giving this away. I'm going to give one of these away. I'm going to give away the coloring Bitcoin coloring book and the wave and ripple coloring book. Okay. Um, now these kind of seem childish right now, but what better way for the team at ripple, the ones who know what's going on to get information out to us. Okay. Now anyone who's into this from an outsider. Yeah. From an outsider's view, they seem kind of crazy. Now, that's the cool thing is that from an insider's view, we're connecting the dots and we're going to make a lot of money. OK, we're going to we're going to be very valuable in the future. All right. Now, so go buy one of these or you can just. Yeah, well, go buy one. I mean, they're awesome. Um, yeah. And I'm going to give one away. So they should be in the mail. I, I'll be getting them in a few weeks, probably. All right, he's going to give me a shout out today uh, in one of his videos. Go check out his videos. If you haven't subscribed to Aiden Trading, go check him out. Um, he's cool. He's a cool kid. He's smart, too, for doing this. Smart. All right. Now, I went and looked up that uh, that article. Okay, a burgeoning bull market. Three cobalt stocks worthy of investigation. Okay. Now, these are that's the quote by Steve Jobs. Following the wise words of a visionary like Jobs, before peering into the future and envisioning what could become an insatiable demand for cobalt, we must look to the past. I just thought that was interesting. That XRP and Ripple, they're um, basically, you know, they're, they're coming out with cobalt, all right? And um, they do mention Warren Buffett in this article which the coloring book mentions him too. Um, and I, one little thing too that I thought was pretty interesting. I don't know if it has any connection, but they mentioned polymet. And I thought that was pretty close to poly polymesh. Maybe there's a, maybe they wrote this article like a long time ago in preparation for all this. And now variable guys, maybe they had this all planned out. Who knows? Okay. Now I, I checked out what is cobalt. If anyone doesn't know, I'm going to explain it to you real quick. Ripple Cobalt is coming. Ripple Cobalt is a complex array of technical advancements that will make Ripple faster and more reliable. Presently, it takes about four seconds for a Ripple transaction to move between sender and recipient. That's shockingly fast compared to payment channels like Western Union, which takes days. But Ripple can go even faster with Cobalt. Ripple Cobalt will reduce this time to one second or less. That's extremely fast. Okay, this is this is one of the, the the tricks that they have in their hat in their okay, in the bag. Ripple cobalt will be cheaper to use. Okay, um, now here's a quote. Ripple has this to say in a published statement: We rep, we present cobalt, a novel atomic broadcast algorithm that works in networks with non-uniform trust and no global agreement on participants, and is probably probabilistically. Guaranteed to make forward progress even in the presence of maximal faults and arbitrary asynchrony. The exact properties that cobalt satisfies makes it particularly applicable to designing an efficient decentralized voting network that allows a public open entry group of nodes to agree on changes to some shared set of rules in a fair and consistent manner while tolerating some trusted nodes and arbitrarily many untrusted nodes behaving maliciously. We also define a new set of properties which must be satisfied by any safe decentralized government's governance algorithm and all of which COBOL satisfies. Okay, <laughs> that's COBOL. Um, that's what Ripple has to say about COBOL. Um, now let's go back to this article. Bluezell. Now let's check out Bluezell real quick. Well, first of all, let, let me see what he read, wrote. Um, okay, also May 20th, Bluezell are partnered with and are working with Ripple. Their partners and backers include Google, 
and Microsoft and Te Temenos. All right. Bluezell came out with the uh, data delivery network on May 20th. Okay. We are just three days away from our major release. Remember to join our Twitter giveaway. BLZ is their coin. Okay. Bluezell, catch launch. Also in the coloring book, he mentions catch right here. Clues to a catch. Okay. He also mentions polymath. Again, polymath is very undervalued, guys, and it's at like 124 of the market cap. 128. It's under 10 cents. There's only a billion supply. You guys, they polymath standard for blockchain security tokens aims to integrate the necessary regulatory requirements into smart contracts and comply with regulations. This is a for serious. This is a for real coin. It establishes a new token standard, ST20, and enforces compliance by whitelisting authorized investors and their Ethereum wallet addresses. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Hey, oh, Mike. Yeah, what's up? So listen, yesterday, bro, I didn't know that you were in here when I was looking at the game. But at the same time, when you came out, you hit my chair, bro, and it just, like, it pissed me off, too, that, you know what I mean? Because I didn't know that you were in here. Oh, sorry, dude. But, like, you could just...